determination of this application by the court. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, members, there is no concession agreement that has been executed between the government of Kenya and Adani. And as I answer the following questions, I'll be seeking to get the honorable members, your uh, speaker, to appreciate the process of concessioning uh, a PIP. And uh, we'll just stop midway ahead of developing uh, and signing the concession agreement. And so we are going through the court process and using that as a public participation process to ensure that we do provide all the information and ensure that all Kenyans uh, are fully appraised on this new uh, investment uh, platform that will bring in foreign investment and help us to grow some of our infrastructure that we need to develop. Honorable uh, Speaker, on the members on the second question, which is to state the details of any consultation and public participation, engagements that have been undertaken. At the time when we got the halt, we had a program of stakeholder engagement and we had already uh, had formal engagement with the Kenya Airports Authority senior management uh, stakeholders uh, on the 15th of August 2024 at JKI head office boardroom, which was properly scheduled. We'd had engagements with the KAA, uh, JKIA section heads, stakeholders engagement meeting, which was held on 19th, August 2024, also at JKIA courage rooftop conference room. We had JKIA staff engagement meeting held on 20th, August 2024 at JKIA uh, presidential pavilion. We had uh, held engagements with Kenya Aviation Workers Union, uh, COW, uh, stakeholders engagement meeting which was held on 20th August 2024 at JKIA conference room. Kenya Civil Aviation Authority stakeholders engagement meeting which we held on 26th August 2024 at KCAA headquarters. We also had engagements, uh, Speaker Honorable Members, at the Kenya, with the Kenya Airways stakeholders engagement meeting held on 26th August 2024 at Kenya Airways Headquarters Pride Centre in Bakasi. We had engagement with JKIA concessionaires, retailers and all business owners engagements in a meeting we held on 28th August 2024 uh, at Eka Hotel. Eka Hotel. We had engagement with Kenya Associations of Air Operators uh, in a meeting held on 29 August 2024 at Four Point by Sheraton Airport, Nairobi. And finally, with engagements with JKI airline air operators, uh, ground handlers, uh, GOK agencies, cargo engagement meetings, which was held on 30th August 2024 at Amara Ole Sereni. Uh, Honorable Speaker, the public participation plan was to be developed. However, this process, like I said, has been put on hold following the conservatory orders issued by the Honorable Court in Judicial Review Case Number HCJR Stroke E199 2024, which has in turn suspended the implementation of the proposed uh, project. And on the clarification, on whether there is full compliance with the provision of Article 10, 2 of the Constitution on the principles of governance, including but not limited to upholding good governance, integrity, transparency, accountability, in the discussions on the proposed transfer of management of JKIA, Honorable Speaker, there has been full compliance until we were stopped. Uh, the concessioning through a PIP is a process. It's not like the uh, PPDA or the public procurement and disposal system. It's a, it's a whole process. And uh, there has been, I want to confirm, compliance with Article 10.2 of the Constitution and strict adherence to the Public Private Partnership Act and guidelines issued by the Public Private Partnership Directorate and Committee. Good governance 
Honorable Speaker, integrity, transparency, and accountability has been adhered to through the conduct of due diligence, which has revealed that, uh, like we found out um, up to the time where we got the uh, orders, that uh, Adani has not been debarred by any country, the, has not been engagement in acts of corruption, that we so far found it in due diligence, uh, is not insolvent, is tax compliant in all jurisdictions in which it has local tax presence, is not a default on payment of social security and employment benefits, and its directors or officers have not been convicted of any criminal offense related to professional conduct within a period of five years preceding the submission of the proposal and have not been and have not otherwise been disqualified pursuant to administrative suspension or department proceeding. Speaker, honorable members, furthermore, the privately initiated proposal has been subjected to evaluation and analysis by numerous government agencies, including the PPP Directorate, the National Treasury, and the Transaction Advisor duly qualified. Therefore, the process of considering the proposal by Adani uh, at the point where we had reached has been rigorous and we strictly following the due process set by law. On the confirmation, Speaker, Honorable Members, uh, that in accordance with the provision of Article 35 on the, uh, of the Constitution with respect to publishing and publication of all information relating to proposal and agreements between government and Adani, let me confirm, Honorable Members, Speaker, that all relevant information concerning the SAID project has been disclosed to almost all the stakeholders. And like I said, we continue to use the court process as a public participation process because the documents are out there. Uh, we have the documents were submitted to Senate when they requested us for those documents. Disclosure of information is also being undertaken within the ambit of the existing case that has been filed, filed in court, like I've mentioned. Uh, Speaker, honorable members, um, that is the response on uh, the provision of information under Article 35. On the notice, on the, on the question to provide a comprehensive report on the statistics, sorry, I think I'm done on the Adani speaker. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I extremely surprised by the Cabinet Secretary assertion that Adani has been has no corruption case anywhere in the world, has been compliant with taxes in where they have local jurisdiction of paying taxes. Because Mr. Speaker, and there are documents which I can be able to submit before the House, Adani has been barred from doing business in Australia. It has been barred from doing business in India, purely for the same same reason we're talking about. Therefore, I think uh, here, Mr. Speaker, uh, the facts which have been asserted by the, the Cabinet Secretary are not correct, and I think they might need to uh, to get further and proper details. However, Mr. Speaker, 